explain what this may mean for the future of cancer treatment is oncologist Dr. Lawrence Pirro. And, and first things first, Dr. Pirro, uh, explain to everyone how a virus can actually go about conquering cancer cells. Measles infects the bone marrow likes to infect the bone marrow cells. And that's really the reason why we're even talking about measles for multiple myeloma, because myeloma is a bone marrow cancer. Measles infects the bone marrow. So the researchers thought, what if we used measles as a kind of subway to the uh, bone marrow? And if we put some bombs in there, maybe we can explode the cancer. So they genetically engineered the measles virus so that it wouldn't cause measles, but it would still infect the bone marrow. And once it goes into the bone marrow, into the cells, it starts multiplying very rapidly, causes the neighboring cells to aggregate and stick together, and then blows up. And we have to be clear, this was, as you said, Dr. Piero, this was not the standard dose of the measles vaccine, nor was it the free-form measles virus that you would be exposed to in the community. This was a genetically engineered dose targeted to this particular type of cancer. Exactly, and so there should be no confusion that taking a measles vaccine is going to help prevent cancer or not taking a measles vaccine so that you could have this kind of treatment available to you in the future. Right. But it is a problem because one of the reasons Stacy was selected is that she wasn't expressing any antibodies against measles virus. Most of us have antibodies against it from either mm -hmm. vaccination or from having the measles. And so it's unclear whether only people who don't have antibodies against the measles will be able to get this or if she could ever get it again because her body is now made a massive reaction against that engine. But at measles. some point, will we not potentially have in our arsenal various viruses that we can use? So let's say, you know, measles wouldn't work for one individual because they do have antibodies. So uh, let's try this other virus. I mean, is that the hope? Because again, this, this is one particular type of cancer, multiple myeloma, targeting the bone marrow, but, but what is the potential for, heck, whether you have liver cancer or uh, brain cancer, what is the potential for using various viruses to target these particular cancer cells? That's a great question, and that day is already here. We can make these kinds of, of targeted viruses out of, out of adenoviruses, out of pox viruses, um, even out of herpes viruses, and that's been done. The reason that Stacy's story has been so well and widely told is because it's the first time a cancer that is disseminated through the body has actually responded to this kind of a virus. In other cases, they can inject the virus into the tumor and it will shrink, but here they injected it into her bloodstream. It went everywhere the tumor was and blew up you know, each and every wow. side and of it. And what's so fascinating about this, having two loved ones that are actually going through chemo right now, mm -hmm. is the whole thing that you said, Oliver, mm -hmm. which is that after she had the treatment, she's still feeling good, while all of this activity, all this action of cancer mm -hmm. killing is going on in the body, but she's actually feeling good, which is, I think, something that chemo doesn't do for us right now, is when you're on chemo, you just, people just feel so bad. I think chemotherapy will one day be um, a, a historical type of treatment. Well, and that's the hope, but certainly the word future is where this leads to, because obviously not everyone is getting the kind of response that you got, but we're just so blessed and happy that you did have the response that yeah. you had. Because yeah. Stacey, you are actually cancer free, aren't you? At this, in this moment, I am cancer free. You are cancer free. And I'm feeling so great. Oh, and you no better so remarkable. Remarkable. than that. We are so, so blessed for having you on our stage. Thank you, Stacey. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you all. It's a pleasure. Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Stork. Press here to subscribe to the doctor's YouTube channel and press here to help reduce tension.